Hi everyone, this is Craving Homegrown Adventures. And today I will be doing a, let me show you here. This is a recessed um, toilet paper holder. Uh, it's a very small bathroom that I have here. And so we've been using this one here. And um, oh, every once in a while it knocks over and, and such. And I just wanted to create some more space. So I, I actually go on YouTube to look up to see if anybody had something like this that was already done uh, to just to see how they do it and there wasn't anything that showed the actual video of how to install it it was kind of you know cuts in between um, and then it was already put in and it seemed like they were having quite a difficult time so um, I wanted to show um, exactly how to do it uh, in a video so first I just cut this hole out I took a leveler and drew a pencil line and then I drilled a couple holes with a screw um, just in the corner each corner and then I took my tiny little uh, saw and since I had those holes already started I can just put the tip of the saw in there and um, it's important that you get it nice and straight lines so that your so that your uh, toilet paper holder is not to the side. Now I know this may sound odd or look odd. Um, I put this wire going through here because I noticed that when the guy was first starting to install it before he stopped doing his video, uh, he was having a hard time with centering it and getting everything and uh, to just hold right. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just use uh, some wire. I was going to use string or ribbon in the beginning and then I thought wire would be more stiff. So I've already put in the screw here as you can see and so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and hold that up and as you can see this wire here is really helping me out a little bit. And so now I'm going to start to screw this in and that will bring the other side closer. And the reason why I didn't put the other side in is because I wanted to um, be able to move it around a little bit more so I could get that in there. I had to actually go and buy these uh, screws. This is a two inch. When I bought this, it did not come with a template because uh, I bought it at a second hand store. And um, it's where they, uh, they buy and sell reclaimed things that are from other houses. And, and um, so I had to, to, first I got a one inch and then I didn't realize you need a two inch in order uh, to have that gap between the plate and the wall. There's like almost an inch um, gap between the plate and the wall. So that, that plate has to have that gap. So that's what you need the long screw for. So now I need to find, my hole here and I can feel it pushing quite significantly and that's what I'm using my wire for is to hold this in place okay it feels like I got it in there this is my first time installing this I try to get as many projects done as I can when my husband's at work so he doesn't have to do them because he's pretty wiped out whatever I can't do he finishes up the kids are down taking a nap, the two, the baby and the toddler. And my teenagers just finished their schoolwork because we are a homeschool family. Okay, let's see if I can get that wire out now. Now I don't need it anymore. See how that slips out pretty good? All right, let's tighten this up. Well, this feels good to get this project done. And, um, the wire kind of um, chipped the wall a little bit here and here. So it's always good to have a project done and have it done complete. So when I'm done with this and when I turn off, I'll touch up the wall too. So now you guys can see how easy that is. All the other videos were ones without the plate behind it. So this one has that plate. Tightening up, I can feel it back there. And 
the screws here I just got at Lowe's and um, it was kind of difficult because the plate in the back needed um, screws that had really a wide gap in between the in between the lines there. So look at that. That's nice and firm. It's not going to slip out anywhere. So that'll keep it. I can actually do this now. Get rid of the other one. So that's going to save us a lot of room here in the bathroom. And this one actually goes with my colors. The um, silver did not go. So now I've got the brushed bronze, antique bronze. Uh, lots of people call it different things. So thanks for watching. And um, if you like, subscribe. And this is um, Craving Homegrown Adventures. Thank you. Bye.